So what happens after Nuka World? Quite a few YouTubers have made a video on this topic already, but I decided to wait a little bit longer till we got some more details on Nuka World and kind of saw what kind of DLC it would be. Due to some leaks, we have pretty much gotten the extent of the Nuka World DLC. We kind of know everything that's added from it, what you can do in it, and if it's going to be good or bad. I'm going to reserve my full judgment till I actually play the thing, but that's pretty much it. Fallout 4, as far as Bethesda goes, is done now. We're not getting anything else, except PS4 mods. Hopefully it will come at some point in the next few months. So what comes next? Well, fortunately, this is actually where Fallout 4 modding typically starts to take off. Basically, a lot of modders will make small mods like weapon mods, power armor mods, retextures while the game is released and basically active. So DLCs are coming out pretty regularly. We saw this with New Vegas. We saw this with Skyrim. And of course, we saw this with Fallout 4. Although Fallout 4 definitely had a lot more hiccups with its modding scene and Bethesda basically not being a good host. But we also did get console mods. So it's really curious to see how that's all going to evolve. But basically, what I would expect to see over the next few weeks is growth. And by that, I mean growth of mods. I wouldn't expect to see as many mods, but more higher quality mods. If you look at Skyrim or even Fallout New Vegas, they arguably have better mods day to day. I recently just started my Skyrim modding series, and despite that being a five-year-old game, the modding scene is much more active and lively than Fallout 4. I would even make the argument that mods being released for Skyrim right now are better than mods being released for Fallout 4 right now. This is crazy. You would think during the active cycle of Fallout 4, you'd have better and more mods, but we really don't have that many lasting mods. This isn't to say there aren't cool mods out there, but there aren't mods that really define themselves in Fallout 4. Obviously, the power armor category did grow quite a bit, but as far as quests or just game overhauls, we don't get that. And that's because we're going to get that going forward. Now, mod authors are going to be like, all right, it's our time to shine. They're going to take control and start releasing mods for Fallout 4, or at least that's what we hope's going to happen. That's that's what happened with New Vegas, that's what happened with Skyrim, so I assume that's what's going to happen with Fallout 4. This also begs the question as to what's going to go on with PS4. Hopefully we do see mods coming out for that in a few months, but who really knows what's going to happen now. One other thing that's important to remember is what's going to happen when Skyrim Remastered comes out. Some of you guys may not realize that a lot of the mod authors that you do see in Fallout 4 right now actually were from Skyrim. So Vivid Weathers, True Storms, The Patch for It, Tales of the Commonwealth, these are all mod authors that were very heavy in the Skyrim scene and then basically took themselves and moved over to Fallout 4. Like there is a True Storms and a Vivid Weathers for Skyrim. I would expect the same thing to happen when Skyrim Remastered comes out. So we may actually see a drop in mods around October. All in all, I think Fallout 4 was large in part a failure as a game. Hopefully it does become a success as a modding scene though. Obviously the inclusion of consoles is massive and hopefully they don't screw it up with Skyrim. I hope this cleared up some questions. I know a few of you guys were kind of asking, well, what's going to happen to my channel after Nuka World. Everything should remain relatively the same. I'll definitely be covering some other games and start covering Skyrim more and more as we approach Skyrim Remastered, but for the time being, Fallout is here to stay and the modding scene should only start growing from this point forward.